Hi family, I'm Dr. Brenda Warburiosti. I'm a licensed daycare provider, a published author of three children's books, an advocate, a consultant, a veteran's wife, and a mother. If you need help setting up your daycare service or just looking for great ideas to incorporate a play-based learning approach as well as learn about research-based solutions to issues impacting education, this is the channel for you. Subscribe, share, like thank you this is how i make nigerian egusi soup for my american daycare kids to celebrate juneteenth 2022 so i always buy the dry egusi and they come in those packs you just saw i buy them from the african store and i did do a video about my shopping at the african store and i would encourage you on this juneteenth week um a day to go to the african store and just even if it's just to window shop and look around and see what um africans are eating but anyway a goosey is a um is it, a goosey itself is from melon and the melon um melon with little seeds on the inside and they take the seeds out they wash them and then they dry them and that's how we get a goosey there are there are shells on the egusi seeds they've been removed already here but when i was growing up we removed the shells from our egusi you know and made them fresh so they were clean they were um shelled at home and and um and then before they were cooked so egusi is um, mostly found in nigeria but other parts of nigeria um oh, sorry other parts of africa also use egusi soup also eat a goosey soup also use a goosey for different delicacies so this is how i do it i put the goosey in a tray and i take it handful by handful just how you see it and i put it in a bowl and i do that constantly look at that big rock that's what i'm telling you and then there's there were bugs on on it as well so i have to do that to be sure that it's clean because i i learned the hard way so I pour the goosey, I pour the goosey in the bowl and then I put some, um, the hottest water I can get from the sink and then I put some apple cider vinegar in it and let it soak for a little while. And um, the, the reason why I do all of this washing, because when I first came to the United States, I just bought the goosey and cooked it just the way it was and uh, I learned the hard way. Cause it was sandy and rocky and all you know just it just wasn't right so to avoid getting sand or rocks in your egusi just wash it like this and that's also why i do not buy the blended egusi because then you can't you can't control um you know how much rocks or stones are in it but this one this dry one i definitely can control it and um and i just wash it little by little i change the water occasionally and just keep washing and when i'm when i'm transferring from this bowl to the other little bowl i'm taking the top so it's like i'm kind of featuring um the egusi from the sand which ends up at the bottom of it so now I have the egusi all washed and clean and you can notice that the water is not as brown as it was when I was washing it in the sink. So then it's time to blend it. Put it in the blender little by little because egusi tends to clog up the blender, you know. So and that also I had to learn the hard way. So um, put some water in it and cover it up and blend blend until the egusi is nice and smooth and creamy and um, it's gonna take you a couple of blends it, depending on the size of egusi you have you know look at that look how clean and white that looks that's the way egusi is supposed to look not browning so when that egusi is blended i have my stew already made and um, this is my tomato sauce and I have a video on, on this channel where I showed you how I make my sauce. I use it for everything, spaghetti, for stew. We use it to eat all kinds of stuff at daycare. It's very convenient. And now you can see how I'm using it for a goosey. It's already seasoned. I just put it in the pot, put some red oil 
and the red oil too i got that from um from the african store so i put the red oil let it cook actually let it fry because that's oil <laughs> and while it's frying so it doesn't get burned i just keep turning and turning and turning and um keep turning and let it keep cooking and make sure it doesn't get burned <laughs> and um and that's that and while this why the uh egusi, well, so why the stew is is um cooking if you have maybe pounded yam or you have fufu you want to do or you have rice um, you can go ahead and do all of that maybe put the rice on the stove and start cooking for my daycare kids we use a goosey for rice or we use it for sweet potatoes and sometimes mashed potatoes they they, they really don't know how to eat um, pounded yam or fufu so I don't serve that that for the daycare children. We just do rice, or we do um, sweet potatoes, and um, or just as a side veggie. So this is broth, and this is beef broth that I already had prepared. And I also have a video on this channel that I um, that I have that I showed you how I make my broth. I think I'm gonna leave all those links here, and then the. I'm African and we don't waste anything. So that's the blender I use to blend the egusi. I had to wash it, put some water in it and just shake it and make sure all the egusi on the sides of the blender is in the water. And then I pour the water in the mixture of the stew and the oil. And then I put all these seasonings. Pink salt, um, I could use any other salt black pepper this is parsley goes in there and then garlic and herb and then this is the major ingredient nor chicken um chicken bouillon seasoning it's delicious it sometimes it comes in this powdery form and other times it comes in cubes and if you've watched my cooking videos on this channel you'll see that i have used it a lot and that's all i use actually and then it's time to put the egusi in the boiling mixture. I do this little by little, ball by ball, just like you're frying a car. Because I like some little clumps of soup after the egusi is ready. And there are other ways of, of um, you know, getting the same results. But this is how I do it since this, since this egusi was wet from the beginning. So... I've done that. I let it cook maybe for about 10 minutes. Because a goosey really doesn't take too long to cook. But while it's cooking, you have to keep checking the bottom. Make sure it's not burning, you know, because it can burn. And, and I have to say this. Sometimes I let my goosey burn just slightly because the taste of burn gives the egusi some really nice smoky flavor so i let it burn a tad bit and then um now it's time to wash the spinach now sometimes i use the fresh spinach or i use the frozen but whichever one i use i have to wash it like i said i don't trust these packaged things they always have something in them so i wash it i put some apple cider vinegar and and um and then I wash that with some warm water. So while that is soaking, I go for the meat. Now, this is cow leg and beef. And this cow leg is um, beef meat with no bones. That's how I buy them from the African store. This is just to make the soup flavorful. I don't serve the kids in big chunks like this. When it's time to serve them, I cut the meat into little tiny pieces. So you can even barely see them and also it prevents choking so i put all of the meat that i want to put in there and i um cover it uh, half cover that up and let it cook for a little bit and then the spinach comes last just like i filter the goosey that's the way i filter the spinach and i just take it from the top little by little even if even after i have already washed um the spinach uh, that's just a piece of um 
piece of something in there <laughs> so I um, did take that out and I just keep um, fi uh, filtering it taking it out little by little and then um, put it in a goosey that's still cooking and you if you know spinach you've cooked with spinach before you know it doesn't take spinach a long way to cook so now the spinach is in there for maybe less than a minute actually it's time to turn the delicious yummy 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 a goosey notice i did not use any peppers except for the black pepper which is really not hot but when i want to eat look at that goodness guys when i want to eat mine i always add some red cayenne pepper but there we go happy juneteenth everyone don't forget prayers get answered miracles still happen and every single thing is possible please stay tuned to see um, how I serve the kids my goosey and don't forget to subscribe like and share if you can thank you for watching bye guys